I'm not too sweaty. Hello, my loves. I just finished working out. You probably think it's super early because it's kind of dark and I always work out in the mornings, but it is 6.25 p.m. <sighs> Some people take naps to stay awake. I find that working out helps me stay awake and also I'm drinking my aminos, which might be why I'm staying awake, but whenever I work out, I feel alive and it wakes me up and you may be wondering why the hell you're trying to stay up because you're usually in bed super early. Tonight, I'm gonna go to a jack-o'-lantern festival. I'm so excited. It is, we have tickets, I believe, for 10.30 at night, which is usually when I'm in like my fifth dream of the night, but not tonight. God, I remember being young and being able to break night, and I can't, I can't, I like to be home. But anyways, I'm super excited. I heard this place is like a mile long, and they have like thousands of different jack-o'-lanterns, so I'm really, really excited to see that, but, um, I have to shower now, get ready, and you guys get to come along with me and enjoy all the beautiful pumpkins. So, enjoy. <laughs> I just want to wish you all a happy Halloween. What tongue is this? It goes perfectly with the driving. What did you just play? That's so funny. Happy Halloween, my loves. It is Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from the Pumpkin Lantern Festival. I think it was called Rise of the Lanterns. It was the first time that I've ever been to that, and it was absolutely amazing. I found out that they carve 5,000 pumpkins a week. 5,000. I've never carved a pumpkin in my life. Today, though, on Halloween, I will be carving my first pumpkin, and I'm so excited. My friend is on his way over. We ordered pizza. We're gonna carve pumpkins. We have chocolate. We're gonna watch scary movies and have the bestest Halloween ever. I absolutely love this time of year. I know I always say it, but it truly makes me so happy. But, oh, hold on. I wanna show you my pants. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them before, but I think they're kind of perfect for today. They can either be Beetlejuice pants, the Witch of the Wizard of Oz pants, whatever you choose. 
but I think they're kind of perfect for Halloween. That is my opinion. Zen, do you like mama's pants? Do you like them? Zero F's given. Oh, he, I feel like that was enough, but I will pick up the camera when it's time to carve pumpkins. Come here. He just walked right past me. Story of my life. All right, bye. <laughs> Out for sight of the sun, now I lay here waiting for you to wake. with my carving skills like I said it's the first time I ever carved a pumpkin I decided to go with the ohm symbol he went with the Thundercats oh, it looks so good all right let's see what they look like with candles they turned out so nice look at your Thundercat yeah it actually looks really cool oh fudge oh look at my ohm symbol it is Saturday now it is three o'clock here again I go telling you the time what a day what a day i taught two of my classes i was late to one class because this woman got on the bus and basically started an argument with the bus driver bus driver said i am stopping the bus you guys have to catch the next one we all had to get off the bus go to the next bus then the lady gets on that bus starts to fight again it was just so bad that i had to just jump off the bus and take a cab and i still got to my gym seven minutes late if you hear noise in the background it is my son eating which, by the way, he's in trouble because I was talking to someone on the phone and I turn around, he's like scratching my yoga mat. What an issue. But how nice does my own symbol look? I'm quite obsessed with it. I have to say, not bad for my first time carving a pumpkin and not bad because I didn't use a stencil that was freehand. Granted, my friend did help me because he was like, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So it worked out pretty well. I'm quite obsessed with it. Only thing is pumpkins have a weird smell inside. Well, this one does anyways, but I went to Bath and Body today. No, Bath and Body, but Bath and Beyond. No, Bath and Body. And they had the candles on sale, the single wick candles for like $4. I bought so many candles. I bought plugins. The goal is to switch the season this weekend from Halloween right into winter, right into um, Christmas. I'm so excited for the holidays. All right, I'm a little hyper, but I wanted to close out the vlog here and just say that I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And as always, my loves, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I clapped, but as always, thank you for watching and namaste my loves. Bye!